Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today to continue on with the Russian Tribute Week we are having a look at the Kamaz 5410 and this is done by Jawa, Giants Software, UV, uh, Stas556 and Mashenka. Now this itself, I really do like this work because one, it's got Stas in it, it's got Stas556, I really do like his stuff. Um, I mean, look at the detail on the front there. It's got all these little bits and pieces here that make it look really nice. You know, leaf springs there, you can see. Um, you know, so all these other little bits and pieces here, leaf springs on the back. Um, I mean, this is great. Brake lines. You know, there's all sorts of things in there, like a lot of detail. And um, even right up into the engine there, you can see a ton of detail. So that's really what makes mods special, the amount of detail that's in there. And um, I think that this is going to be a, a nice little truck to have a look at just from looking at the outside there. So let's jump into customized configuration and check it out. So first of all, we have a look at the cabins. So there's cabin A, which is that one there. Cabin B, which is the same cabin. It's just got dirt on it, I think. Uh, then we have cabin C and then we have cabin D which is the same as cabin B no it's not it's slightly different there we go just got dirt on it that's all um, let's go with this one and I'm just gonna check something quickly what about colors ah, see it just changes the colors for there so it's like rusty sort of look on the outside interesting interesting um, let's go this one then. And I suppose it would, yeah, it does the same for that too with the colors. No, no, that one's full. Okay. Well, let's go this one then. Okay, so we have a look at the chassis. We've got the 6x4. And there's the 6x4 as well. So you can see it just changes some of the textures and that on the back there. Some of the little bit of the detail. Um, I think it just makes it look a little bit more weathered and a bit more rough and tough. Uh, I'm going to make this look as new as possible, I think. I like it looking new. Now, for the engines, there's a whole heap of different... I think they're Russian engines. Um, not sure, but there's the Kamaz 740, which is 240 horsepower. Going all the way down to... There's uh, 400 horsepower, The I think it's RM3. <coughs> <coughs> oh jeez and then that goes so we got 240s 320s 400 so it's all it's a little bit jumbled up with the engines so well that's not too bad I mean that's all right you know, it's no big deal but there's a ton of engines to sell there now we go up to the gearbox and there's only one gearbox which is the 15 speed so oh well you know no retard or anything like that so it's just a standard gearbox uh, there is only one interior and that's all we can choose there so that is it we have here I mean it looks nice the detail in here is very well done look at all the actual uh, pedals and everything and I mean it's got a ton of detail all the buttons are done so it's really good nice and smooth around the, the corners here very well done and even the gear sticks nicely done as well so, you know, a lot of time's been spent in this. So that makes it really good. Uh, a little bit jagged here and there, but no, it's no major thing. So we go on to colors and let's have a look. We have the Alpine White, the Mineral Gray, uh, Mar Marinello Red. What's that? Acer or Els Alsace Green, whatever. Lion Blue, Prague Yellow, Istanbul Blue, uh, Carrara, 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 Ivory, uh, Goodfella Orange. Um, I was quite liking the Ivory, to be honest, in this truck. What do we got? White? No, too white. Let's go the Ivory for something different. And then we go off to the actual accessories, outside accessories, which everybody loves. Now, this is a 
little bit strange. I don't know what the go is with that bit there. It's plastic, but it's a strange plastic. It really is. Um, but anyway, you get to choose, and then there's like rust or something. Um, I'm going to leave it as standard. Now, if we go off to here. Uh, yes. So you basically rip off a whole heap of plastic. And we put that back on, so all that plastic was gone. Uh, but that's fine, we'll leave that on there. Now, uh, just trying to... We'll go on that one. Oh, there's the actual flaps, the mud flaps for the back here. We take that off. You can uh, sort of see it. It's a bit hard to see. There we go, that's a better view. You can see it there, it just shows up with the flaps. Now, um, what was that? That was, oh, that's right, that's that thing there. No problem. Now, we move on and we've got mirrors, which they put mirrors up the top there. Then we go off to here and we have a look at, there is the sun visor for the top. And I actually think that matches this very well. Now, an interior light, let's just chuck that on blue. And then we have horns for the top. Very nice. And then we have the actual little spoiler on the top there. Now, there is something else that you can select. Now, all these pictures are all funny, so no big deal. Um, there is something you can do, and you can go and replace that and put on a crane on the front, which I thought was pretty cool. I like that. I don't think it'll actually work or move or anything, but still, looks pretty cool. Um, then you can actually go, and I'm not sure what this was doing here. Uh, is it on the back there? Oh yeah, there it is. It's the air filter. That's what it is. So it makes the air filter look dirty, clean, or whatever. I'll just leave it on that one. It's no big deal. Um, now, I think if we went back to... Was it there? If we go over to here... Yeah, see, there's two different cranes you can choose from now. So by changing the actual top there, there's two different cranes. Let's put that one on. Um, I'll put that on there and see how we go. Now, uh, that's that air filter, so we'll leave that. Uh, that is, uh, the, well, that's the mirrors. So we'll leave the mirrors, they're fine and dandy. Uh, some lights, so that is the, you know, beacon light. And then we go over to over here. Now, what is that? Oh, that is the exhaust. We'll try and get it. There we are. It's not. Re it's hard to see. Is it changing anything? I can't see. I, I think it's meant to be the exhaust, but I can't see anything changing there. So, I'm just going to leave that one. Just take that one off. There we go. Uh, now off to the actual wheels. Now, unfortunately, there's no other wheels to select from. Uh, yes, there's basically standard, elite, you know, just all the other ones. And I'm going to put the Raven on there. And under tires as well, there is just the. There you go. You can put runners on there. <laughs> uh, just the standard tires. So uh, back to here, it's the same thing. Standards, and I'll put Raven on. I'll leave those tires the way they are and put Raven on the back there. Now, up the very, very back here, there is a circle you can click on, and it's for nothing at the moment. But if you click on it, it adds a bucket. And then you can select down and go through all these other items and select your bucket. So, I don't know why you would put a bucket on the back there, but anyway, let's just put a bucket on there. Why not? Must be a Russian thing, that's all I can say. Um, that still can't figure out what that does. Anyway, never mind. Uh, no, we'll leave that. That's that's fine. Um, and that is pretty much it for here. Now, on the inside, there's nothing furthermore to select. Oh, we got that mirror. Sorry, I lie. There is mirrors to select. And there is the light. And that is, that is pretty much it, folks. Okay, so let's confirm this. And let's go trade in on the last mod. Thank you very much. 
and let's have a look on the outside. So, well, since we actually skipped through that really quick, <laughs> and here we are, we're looking at the truck from the outside, and let's see, look, there is a ton of detail in there. That is awesome. It really is awesome, all that detail. Look, there's no big holes that I can see so far. And that is really, really nice. You can see that this, the actual main shell of it was taken from um, UV or, you know, the giant software from the, the game uh, Spin Tires. But that's no big deal. I mean, you know, you convert it over. Whee! That was very loud. That was very loud. So let's jump on the outside and let's have a listen for the sound. We'll try not to listen to that dirty jackhammer going on in the background there, so... Oh yeah, listen to that! That sounds nice for an old school truck, I like that. Let's do the horn. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, and the wipers? Are they for... No, they're just... They're not for 1.17. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I just fixed my steering wheel up. Oh, look, action. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, put it in third. Look, the sunglasses on the, the beads there or whatever it is. And I'll just go over here to the customized configuration. Uh, sorry, over to the service center. What am I thinking? Man, that is loud. Right. Now, so over here under the upgrade shop, was there anything extra? Does not look like it at this point. No, nothing at all. That's fine. Let's get out. Okay, now, under paints, what is there? Ooh, custom metallic. There we go. So you get your custom color. There you go. And custom metallic. So... Let's go and... Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Got this ivory thing going on at the moment. No, that's too yellow. Go there and change that one to... Is it working? I'm trying to see. Yeah, it is. It is working. Just... Might just be the colour that I've selected, maybe. Um, just going to quickly go back to that there. Yeah, that's definitely working, that one. And there we go. I think that looks wonderful. Confirm. And back out we go. Now to take this for a drive have a look on the outside oh man I think that looks cool look at that that is very nice very nice indeed listen to the sounds that is very very cool indicator sounds good a lot of traffic out here, so we're just going to scooch down the side here. Normally would not do this, but I really don't want to be stuck in there waiting and waiting and waiting forever in a day. No traffic. Wow. This is very, very well done. Oh. I like it, it's nice. Oh jeez, there's the air brakes there. It sounds like somebody just ripped a big one. And away we go. I want to hear that exhaust brake just by itself, so I'm going to rev it a bit higher. Oh man, that is rumbling my earphones. That is very, very noisy. Wow. I really like this. I think it's nice. Indi oh, okay, so you've got two separate indicators there. Oh, man. Love 
love the sounds. This is very cool. Now, I'm doing it over the speed limit. I've got a bit carried away there. I was listening to those sounds and I really do like them. It really does represent an old school truck work really well. Wow. Okay, look, it handles nicely. It steers well. Um, it's, I mean, we saw the horn before. <laughs> I like that. Um, what else? Uh, didn't put the lights on. There we go, we got lights. Oh, look, there's the interior light. The blue interior light. It's coming from somewhere. That's pretty cool. It's like uh, we're in a nightclub or something. Ooh. So look, guys, look, if this is... I'm actually really impressed with this. I like this one. A, 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 oh, ah, oh, sugar. Oh, jeez. See, that guy just rammed me. <laughs> um, I like this a lot. I really do. I think it's very, very good. Uh, a lot better than the other one we did, the Kraz 255. Um, a lot of people did not like that at all. I'm just going to turn the volume down. Uh, a lot of people did not like that one at all. Um, I mean, I thought it wasn't too bad, but no. This one's definitely a lot better, I think, uh, with the animation and everything. It's uh, definitely, it drives well, it sounds well, and I think it's definitely an improvement on that other one. So, well, guys, you know the drill. If you like this, if you like this, you want to see this in the weekly drive, then uh, say yes or no in the comments below. That's the rules, guys. So yes, you would like to see it, or no, you would not like. So um, that's the way it's going to be. And it's just Russian trucks this week, guys, as it's a Russian tribute week. So um, make sure you have your say, because this week in the weekly drive, it's going to be a Russian truck, and we got a Russian surprise coming. So, because uh, I know how you guys love your surprises, that's it. We're in 10th speed, and that's as fast as we can get this puppy to go. And I'm driving crazy today, I don't know why. Um, so, that is pretty much it for me, guys. Look, uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to share and give us the thumbs up. Um, also, uh, keep the shiny side up, the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we take a look at 18 Wheels of Steel where we go from Roxby Downs to Port Augusta. Just down there we take a look at Big Mother Truckers Part 2. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching YouTubers, and remember, game on!